What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyle Pavelis, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing something a little different. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about what I spend in a week as a 19 year old college student living alone. I got inspired to make this video because lately I have been obsessed with watching financial videos on YouTube and just being really interested in how much money people make and how they spend their money. Some people do not like talking about money. They're very closed off when it comes to anything financial, but I really appreciate when people are honest about how much they make and what they spend their money on because I think uh, they can use it as a learning tool for other people to look at and evaluate their spending habits and how they can change them going forward. I'm no financial expert, but I'd like to think I'm pretty good with my money when it comes to saving, but by the end of the week, my mind could change about that. I'm going to be breaking down my fixed expenses and dividing it by four weeks to see how much I'm actually spending per week on those expenses, and then also the variable expenses such as eating out and entertainment. So let's get right into it. The biggest expense that I have every month is my mortgage payment. Like I said in my last video, I decided to buy instead of rent, and my mortgage payment comes out to $1,333 a month. That is including the HOA bill with utilities, water, and also trash disposal. So $1,333 subtracted by a little help from my parents every month, which is $450 and that leaves $883 per month that I'm paying for, uh, divided by four weeks, it comes out to $220 a week. Next is my internet bill, which is about $60 a month. Um, that's $15 a week. My electricity bill changes a little bit every month, but my average monthly bill for electricity is around $30. So that's about seven and a half dollars a week on electricity. I invest $150 into a Roth IRA every month. So weekly that's $37.50. So my grand total for all my fixed expenses actually comes out to $280.20. This is actually a really good exercise for me because I never really think about money in terms of weekly. I'm always thinking monthly uh, when it comes to my mortgage bill, my credit card, my electricity, and everything like that. I'm not gonna be factoring my credit card into this weekly financial breakdown because it just changes so much. So for that reason, I'm only gonna calculate how much I put on my credit card during this week. And my first expense this week was actually buying groceries the nice thing about buying groceries the first day of the week is that I don't have to eat out as much the, the rest of the week and save a little bit of money. I spent $94.40 today on groceries. I get the essentials as a college kid, which is pizza, ramen noodles, eggs, cereal, and lots of soda. So at the end of the week, I'm gonna be able to see how much I spent for the entire week and see if it's more or less than how much I actually make in a week, which right now being 19 isn't the most extravagant amount of money, but part of being in college is making it work and doing what you can. So right now I make about a fourth of my money through video production jobs, whether it's filming or editing videos for clients. And the rest of my monthly income is actually by being a DoorDash driver. Um, I've been a DoorDash driver since March of last year when uh, the country shut down and I was working at Top Golf at the time, which if you haven't heard of is a driving range that serves food and alcohol. Super fun place to work at, but um, when everything shut down, I wasn't able to work anymore. So I became a DoorDash driver. It's perfect that I actually have two part-time jobs that are very flexible and that I do on my own time and I don't have a boss and I set my own schedule. And between working on video jobs and door dashing, I make about anywhere from three to $500 a week doing DoorDash, and about $100 a week 
from my video production jobs. So I'll round up and say I'm making about $450 a week, um, which equates to $1,800 a month. But with all that being said, I will track anything I spend throughout the week and add it to a running total and see how much I spend in a week as a 19 year old college student. Okay, so it's the end of the week and it's time to add to the running total of my expenses. I didn't spend any money on Tuesday. On Wednesday was date night with a girlfriend and we went out for milkshakes. Um, I had a burger and she got a side of tater tots. The milkshakes are overpriced, but they decorate the outside of the class and uh, they're 10 bucks each. So the total for dinner that night was $51.03. That night when I was driving home, I also needed to get gas and gas was $29.85. And on Thursday, while I was door dashing, I got hungry and stopped by Cane's and the total for that was $12.57. I didn't spend any money on Friday, but on Saturday night, I was feeling especially healthy and wanted to get myself a salad, and I door dashed a salad that was $16.89 with tip and delivery fee. On Sunday, nothing in my fridge sounded good, and I didn't know what to make for dinner. So I splurged on sushi and hibachi from a new place I had never tried before. And I door dashed this meal as well. And the total came out to $43.93. So that brings the total for all my weekly expenses to $248.67. So altogether, my fixed expenses and my weekly expenses comes out to a grand total of Drum roll, please. $528.87 for all of my expenses this week. I also added up how much I made this week just because I thought it'd be interesting to see if I made more than I spent this week. This week from all my door dashing and editing a video for a client and also doing some extra driving on the weekend, I made $680 this week. So this is a little more than I make in a typical week and I also spent more than I usually spend in a typical week. I'm usually only buying groceries every two to three weeks and I'm usually not spending 40 to $50 on meals. But as a whole, I think this is a pretty accurate representation of how much money I spend in a week. So if I was to critique myself, I would definitely spend less money on food. It's just very hard because it's such an impulse purchase um, when something sounds good or when you're craving food. I have a tendency to eat whatever sounds good, even if it's sushi, because um, I have an expensive appetite. Anyways, with all that being said, I really enjoyed making this video and seeing how much I spend in a week. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and also checked out some of my other videos on the channel. But again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.